Steve Pete hold his breath now for three minutes and 14 seconds. Pete, he's got every right to be blue in the face, but there he is. Oh, he looks fast to me. Oh, he looks fast. Oh. Oh. He looks speeded up. <laughs> the time will tell us the truth. Oh. Pete carried some speed through there. Sam low. Oh, it's close to Sam's that. on the edge here, but... Oh, look at the time. Look at the time. Oh, 5.36 up for Sam Hill. Is he going to end Pete's dream oh, again? It's going to be terrifying, this. Rob, how do I... Oh, how does Sap do it? How does he take can't even five seconds? This is, this is unbelievable. But, but we did say that if it's technical, if it's going to be gnarly, if anybody can do it, there'd be streets ahead, unlike Fort William. Yeah, you can tear it apart here. I mean, this is unlike opening it. him up. This is Sam Hill, who won the world title in Rotorua. Now, this guy really is a talent, and when he's on form and blowing hot, he is so quick down the mountain. Former junior world champion and defending world champion, Hill. This is the man to beat, Hugh, in my eye. He's been the most dominant rider all year. He's been winning World Cups by huge margins, and he's super smooth and brilliant talent rider. You can see how much speed he's carrying, he's pedaling. He's actually got some stuff on his bike called Moto Foam, which it's like a foam that he's got taped to his bike and it dispels all the mud off the bike so it keeps the bike nice and light. It's really, really now turned and he's looking fast at the moment. You can see going into the split time, it's going to be a good one for Sam Hill. Sam Hill, motoring guard, look at this. He's 10 seconds almost quicker than the leading time of Canel Slicks. Hill has won two rounds of the World Cup this year in Schladming in Austria and Monson Dan in Quebec. He's the current world leader of the World Cup.